had eight computer classes and I only able to have three and I really miss computer class. That's all it is. Sitting here typing out code. Come sit right here, please. Making video games, that's all code too. That's C++. On our hour of code today, we're at the Free Library, 1901 Vine Street. Mr. Aiden, how old are you, Aiden? Four. Four, and we're here with Miles Chancellor. Today is December 8th, 2018. We're here at Levitt Memorial Library for our Hour of Code. Um, I have Mr. Bryce here with my grandson, Aiden. And Bryce, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, yes, um, robotics engineer, electrical engineer, as well as a botanist. And uh, I design uh, autonomous grow systems and hydroponic aquaponic systems for self-sustainable uh, smart farms that basically grow food for you all year round um, and they're all run by a smartphone app. Smartphone app? Smartphone app. Awesome. Because I like to take my cat and do all other stuff That's why I like to make these parties at my school and everyone awesome and is miles your favorite your favorite rap star you like his music i like his music too. what kind of word was that arduino arduino it's like the brain of a computer though mm -hmm. it, it helps the smart cars and the smart houses you said was it smart anything pretty much runs off of something like an arduino here even our phones uh, our phones, yeah, they, they have a microcontroller in them. But they have something tinier than this, in fact. They have a very, very like powerful microprocessor in there that does what an Arduino does, but times three. You know, so every time we move our phone, the screen moves with the phone to write itself. So that's an inertial measurement unit, and drones have those. So in order for the phone to be able to do that, uh, you need an inertial measurement unit in there that tells the t that tells the the microcontroller, tells the drone too. It tells the microcontroller on the drone where it is, and so it's like a teeny tiny little glass bubble, and inside there's a little BB in there, a tiny little metal ball, and it bobbles around in there. So no matter where you turn this thing, it's bobbling around, and because of gravity, it's always going to go down. And when it goes down, depending on how you turn it and flip it around, there's little registers on there, little laser registers that will pick up where that ball is. And so that's all mounted onto a tiny little chip the size of a postage stamp. Oh, good. Huh? I don't it doesn't break because it's so teeny and tiny and it's mounted on this board and then that board goes inside of your cell phone so it's got all these layers of devices and other things around it protecting like, over my eyes like just like how how a young nigga and started on doing this event stuff like this is a it's definitely like a good introduction to just like open up the concept you know what i'm saying and then they can just expand on it and get curious or something like that Thank you both.